All right. So this is number five. Megan's going to ask, what about what, what about the other ones? Well, other ones I already have on a video. Okay, they're already on a video. And these will be in Canvas by the end of the day. So you can compare your answers to what I have gone over in Canvas. Okay. So remember option two. When we talk about option two, we're talking about a scenario where there's they're bidding on more than one item. That's what, that's what option two was that we went over. Okay, this is uh that's uh, that's chapter three. You want the chapter four one. That's the one that you want to turn into me for a grade. So option two in the master inheritance procedure was when they were bidding on more than one item. Okay. And we're gonna that's where we're gonna start. That's where we're gonna start right here. So we have three bidders. We have Anna, Brendan, and Clark. And these are the three heirs who each inherit a city house, a small farm, and a valuable sculpture. Okay, so those are the three items they are bidding on. Okay. Now on these problems, not always is that. the information going to be in your table. So now you got to take the information off the description. All right. So here's Anna's bid. 145,000, 135,000, and 110,000. And what we do is we total her bid for each of those items to find her fair share. That's what's different about option two. So we add these up. So her total bid is 390,000 on those three items. So you're going to total each person's bid on all the inheritance things they're bidding on. And then you're going to take a third of that, and that's going to be her fair share. So after I do that total, I know I take 390,000 that total. I divide that by three, and Anna's fair share is 130,000, all right? Now I do the same thing to Brendan. Now I haven't I haven't decided who's won yet what yet. I'm going to just do the totals and then figure fair share out right now. And so this is going to be zero. Carry the one that's zero zero. There's fifty. These are all zeros. And then I got fifty, eighty, sixteen. So this is three hundred and sixty thousand per fair share. It's going to be one third. Of 360,000. That's going to be 120,000 as her fair share. Now, Clark, we add up his bid, and this is 1520. So that's zeros again. Here are the two. There's eight, 10, 12. Here are the one. That's going to be 420,000 is, is, is Clark's fair share. And so we take a third of that to figure out Clark's fair share. And when we do that, I think it's 140,000. This is fair share, that's supposed to be four. All right, so we figured out the total of all their bids. And then we take a third of that total bid to figure out each of the bidder's fair share. All right, so now we can look at the bids. Now, who won what? Well, you can look at the bids and you see identify the highest bidder. You identify the highest bidder. So we're looking at the city house first. So it's who, who won that? Well, Clark did. Clark did. Look at the farm, the, the small farm. Who, who's got the highest bid on that one? Yeah, Anna, Anna or Anna won that one. And then what about the sculpture? 
Clark won that one too. So you see that Clark won two items. Ooh. Now remember the, the drawback about this master inheritance well, is that you need cash. You need a lot of cash, right? So these bids, you add up Clark's bids, and this is the money that's going to go into the kitty, right? So I add these up. And this is what he's going to put into the kitty. So I'm going to just add them up, or you just want me to put them in that column so you see that that's where they're going. I'm going to put them in there and add them up. I'm going to add them up in the box. I think I got room. Okay, so those are winning bids that Clark put in for the city house and the sculpture. All right, and I add those up, and that's going to be his, his his money he puts in the kitty. This is a payment. This is a payment. Remember, a kitty is kind of a temporary bank account or a holding where the cash is going to be held temporarily before it's distributed to all the heirs. So I'm going to add this up, and so Clark. Pay two hundred ninety-two thousand dollars into the kitty. Okay. If, if, if my numbers aren't right up here, tell me because I'm, I'm I'm not working off any notes. I'm 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 doing this, you know, right from the problem given. All right. So now Brandon, notice Brandon did he, he didn't win any bids. That means that he doesn't owe the kitty any money. So this is a big donut. When I say donut, it's a zero. Another, it's another zero name. Not a zilch. All right. Now Anna, she won the farm bid. So that money goes directly into the kitty. All right. So now we got the money in the kitty. We got their fair share. And so we're going to add up, because we have more than one item that's being bid on, we're going to add up all the money that's in the kitty. We got to add 135 plus 292. This is the total money that's in the kitty right now. Okay, this is a big number. $427,000 is what we have in the kitty. You guys have any idea what that would look like in cash? What? That'd be a pretty good sized bag. I think I traveled with about $1,000 last week, and that was a lot of money in the 50s. I'm like, $427,000 in cash. Because these, these inheritance, these master's inheritance, you typically got to have cash money or a cashier's check to bid. That's the only drawback. This is very a very fair and equitable way to, to, to split things up between heirs. But the problem is, is you gotta come up, we gotta come up with a lot of cash initially. Okay, so that's the money that's in the kitty. So now the next thing you do is you 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 total everyone's fair share right here. These numbers get totaled. So 130,000 plus 120,000 plus 140,000. So that's 250, that's 390. And this is everybody's total fair share. And what you do with that, you subtract it from the kitty value, from the kitty total. And when you do that, you get, it's called a net, it's extra. It's like extra money. This is extra money that's being, gonna be distributed back to the heirs. So because there's three heirs, we're gonna take this 37,000. We're going to divide it by three. And when I do that, what is that? This is what, $12,333.34? Is that what it is? If I goof up, tell me. I think it's $12,333.34. 
this is money that everyone splits up because it wasn't in the bid. This is this money kind of equalizes everybody's bid because everybody was all over the board up here when you totaled up their bid. Yeah, it, I rounded it to 34 because I don't want to repeat in decimals. So this, this typically is going to be, we're going to be off by a penny. But you know what? A penny? Nobody's going to nobody's going to argue about a penny. In fact, the banker is usually the, the, the estate executor. Usually will just give up the change. So there's no qualms about someone getting a penny more than somebody else. Because legally, the estate has to be distributed. You can't short the estate. Otherwise, there's a legal, there's a legal clause. It's like it's hairy. It, it, it can be it, 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 you want all parties to be happy, you don't want a lawsuit. And that could be grounds for a lawsuit. Lawsuits are expensive, they cost money. It's typically what eats up. Everyone's inheritance because those parties don't agree on who gets what. All right. <clears throat> so this is everyone's extra. This is everyone's fair share. Now, once you do those figures, we can figure out our conclusion. Well, Anna, she paid one hundred thirty-five thousand. And she and she bought the farm. <laughs> bought a small farm. She didn't buy the farm. Like you guys have heard that expression before? Maybe that's an old expression. He bought the farm usually means someone died. He bought the farm. That, that, that used to be that used to be an expression. The old Earl, he bought the farm last week. It means he died. Never heard that expression? So he bought the farm, but he, he got a farm, he didn't die. And so he paid 135000 in the kitty. But he had, he got money back. He got money back of his fair share of 130000 So this 135000 is a liability. This 135000 is a liability. It's something that he paid in. He bought the farm. He owns the farm. I should say he owns the farm. That's not you bought. He owns the farm. Better. So then he also gets his extra shared money. That's twelve thousand three hundred and thirty-three dollars and thirty-four cents. And this this is money that's coming back to him. All right. This is an addition. This is a subtraction. He paid this. This came out of his pocket. This went into the key, but he gets this stuff back. And so these, when we add these up, he's going to get money back. He's going to get some money back. So he paid one hundred thirty-five thousand in, and then he gets back one hundred thirty thousand for a net of five thousand. But then he gets another twelve thousand back. So he gets $7,333.34 back. So he gets that money plus, remember, he owns the farm. So he, and he owns the farm, all right? That is the first column. So we get the um, what's that? We get the same oh, I'm sorry. That's the difference between that shared value. And so that's a three hundred thirty minus. Uh, no, it's adding. We're adding. <laughs> so we're adding this to this negative. This is a negative number. So this is like a big negative, that's why I put this in a parentheses. Let me put this down further. You can make this more clear. This is a negative. Okay, and then I add, so this is a negative number in the, in the book. He paid this into the kitty. So then we add 
his fair share of all the three bids he put on the sculpture, the farm, and the and the car was it? No, the farm and the and the city house. And so his net, he gets seven thousand three hundred thirty-three dollars and thirty-four cents plus he gets the farm. He gets she gets the farm. All right. I got 17, not seven. Well, remember, this is a negative. Mm -hmm. So when we add 130,000 to a oh, negative, we got 5,000 there. We got yeah. 5,000 still owing. And so then we have to subtract 5,000 from 12,000. That's how oh. we get seven. So you add, you add it there. That's all. It's, it's a, we, I should have added these together, but I just wanted to see, see, show you where these came from. I just didn't have enough room to show that actual transaction. So this is a negative. This is like, any, any of you guys have a savings account? So this is how, it's, it's kind of how you keep balances in your savings account. This is, this is, this is a withdrawal. 135,000 in a savings account, it's in a different column in the ledger. These are deposits in your savings account. These are going to be added back into your savings. And so your net difference is that your $7,000, $7,333.34 ahead. Plus, you own the farm. All right, let's go. When you own and bid something, that's when it gets complicated. That's when you're going to make mistakes. Those are the ones you need to check. When it's just straight cash, like this next one, well, Brendan, he's going to get he's going to get his fair share, which is 120,000, and he's going to get the shared value of 12,333 dollars and 34 cents. Right? He's going to get that. And so his cash payment is going to be $132,333.34. Any questions on that? That's the easiest one. My numbers on the first one don't make sense to me. I thought it was supposed to be 60, 66. My cents don't make right. No, don't, don't make sense. I think I entered in the calculator wrong. Oh, is right. Calculator, that's right. So Brendan gets $132,333. Let's do the last one. Well, Clark, he bid and won the city house and he bid and won the sculpture. So he paid $292,000 into the kitty. Okay, but he owns the sculpture. And the city house. So he owns those two items. So he paid $292,000 to the kitty, and now he has the ownership of the sculpture and the city house. But he also, he's got money about coming back to him. He's got his fair share. So let's write this again. So this 292,000 is a negative. It's a check he wrote or a cash that he put out. But he's got his fair share of $140,000 coming back plus the shared money of $12,333.34. So when I add those up,
It's $152,333.34. And so when I subtract that from what he paid, this is money he's coming, is that's, that's coming back to him. His net or what the sculpture in the city house cost him. It's going to be, uh, you're going to subtract the 292,000, and this is his liability, which is 139,000. $666.66. Now, why did that come up that way? <clears throat> that's, what, that's what this one I expected to come out as. I got to run these numbers again. So he paid this. This was a payment. But he owns, Clark owns the city house and the sculpture. Let me run these numbers again. This doesn't make sense. So 130. That's 152,000 also. I don't want my calculator is giving me goofy numbers. Oh, I see. Because that's a negative. It's different. No, that, that those numbers are right. They're right. It's because this is a positive. This is cash in the bank. And this is a payment. So that's why they don't line up right. That's why. That is why. Questions on this? That is problem five from the homework in your in your in your chapter notes. Because he paid out two hundred ninety-two thousand, and he's only getting back one hundred fifty-two thousand. I'm saying only, but that's a lot of money. So the net difference is a, is a cash payment of one hundred thirty-nine thousand six hundred sixty-six dollars and sixty-six cents. Was that? No, he's paying that. He's receiving the city house and the sculpture. He owns the city house, and he only paid this for it. Okay. All right, Let's see, who needs more time to write this down? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go to number six. I think that was it. I think there was another one. Okay, that's it. All right, here we go. Number six, we got Lightning McQueen. Sally and Mater have all inherited several valuable possessions from Doc Hudson. <coughs> you guys grew up with this. So we're going to use the Naster inheritance procedure to reach a final decision. Again, I want you guys to, to total all these, all these bids. So there's a garage, there's a trophy collection, there's tools, there's a racetrack. You total each person's bid. So 125,000. Well, 75,000 is 200,000. Oh, these are easy numbers. This is 700,000. So it's total $754,000. That's supposed to be a zero. Not a, that's his total. That's Lightning McQueen's total bid. Sally bids 120,000. So 80,000, that's 200,000. This is 544. So this is 500, 545. Is that 589? Someone wants to check my numbers, make sure Mr. Bloom doesn't do. And then Mater, well, those aren't easy numbers. Let's, let's, let's add up Mater's numbers in the calculator. 130,000 plus 78,000 plus 55,000 plus 425,000. I get 688,000. All right. <clears throat> I 
And then we got to figure out their fair share. And so fair share is going to be their total bid divided by how many bidders there are. There's three. We're going to divide that by three. So 754 divided by three. Um, it's going to be 251,000. $333 and some cents. And you guys, in, the, in our calculators, when you guys are doing division, if you guys do like 754,000 and put a decimal, you see in the five key, the nine key, when you put a decimal behind the number you're dividing, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give you a decimal bag. Okay, it's gonna give you a decimal back. You don't have to do that second divide again or second equal again. I'm just gonna round these to whole numbers. These are big numbers. So next one, Sally's fair share, you take 589,000, put that decimal in there, you divide by three, and that's gonna be 196,333. And that is when we take 589 and divide by two. Again, I'm not showing cents here. I'm just rounding the whole numbers. And then this last one, the fair share, you take the total bid price, divide by how many bidders, and you take 688,000 and divide by three, that's 329,000. 229,000. 333. That's, that's her fair share. That's Major's fair share. All right. So now we look at each of the things they fit on. And we decide, well, who won what? Now let's see. For the garage, Major was the high bidder at 130,000. 130, For the trophy collection, Sally was the high bidder. You just go to the biggest number, and that's the person you award that item to. And then Mater wins the tools. And then Lightning McQueen, well, he won the racetrack. It kind of makes sense that he would have the racetrack. Now, you see each one of these bidders won something. Each one of the heirs got some property or some tangible physical item. So these are all, these winning values are all going to go in the kitty. Mater, I mean, Lenny McQueen is going to put that half million dollars into the kitty because that's what he's bid on the racetrack. Sally's going to put 80000 into the kitty because that's what he, she bid on the, on the trophy collection. And Mater, we got to add these up. So 130000 that he bid on the garage plus 55000 for the tools, that makes those things go together perfectly. The, the garage and tools, you can make that makes sense. And it makes sense, Mater is a tow truck, and why he would buy that. So this ends up being 185,000 total into the kitty. All right, so we take the kitty numbers and we add those up. We add all those up. And so 500,000. So 685,000 plus 80,000, maybe $765,000 in the key. All right, that's the first thing you do. And that's uh, supposed to be a comma. That's what's in the key. And then you add up each person's fair share. And so 251, 333. Plus 196, 333, plus 229, 333. And so that's going to be $676,999. Okay. Now you take those two numbers and you subtract their fair share from the kitty.
This is option two. And the extra money that you get is $88,001. I rounded to the nearest dollar here just to make this easy. We're not going to squabble over the change. I don't expect you guys to, to go to the exact penny. When we deal with big money, big numbers. So this is the extra stuff. This extra, we're going to divide this extra by how many bidders there are. We're going to divide this by three. And when I divide this, I do get cents here. I get $29,333 and like 69 or 70 cents, I'll call it. 70 cents, right? So you get, they each get this. This is shared value of that extra pot between what's in the kitty and what everybody's fair share is. All right, so now I get, we did the figuring. So now we should be able to figure out our conclusions. Well, Lenny McQueen, he paid $500,000. So this was a payment. And he owns Racetrack. Okay, so with this, $500,000 that he paid in, well, he gets back his fair share, which is $251,333. That's a five. Plus his fair share of $29,333.70. And so that's coming back. And so his net cost to the track. Is going to be two hundred and ten thousand three hundred and thirty three dollars. About I, I dropped it at thirty cents, but so that's what he paid to buy the track, right? Two hundred ten thousand three hundred thirty three dollars and, and and thirty cents. Actually, it's thirty two. Okay. For some reason, my calculator is wrong. Anyway. Anybody else got something? Is it thirty-two thirty? Is it three hundred and thirty-two dollars and thirty cents? I'm gonna do this again. I don't want my calculator is wrong and stuff. I like these calculators, but they do goofy stuff like this. You run it again. Two hundred and ten thousand three hundred and thirty three dollars. All right. So Lightning McQueen owns the racetrack here. So he owns the racetrack. From the next one, let's go to Sally. So Sally, she got the trophy collection. So that's a payment of 80,000. This 
So she owns the trophies, the trophies, the trophy collection. But her fair share is 196,000. So she paid 80,000 here. But she gets 196,000. 333 plus she gets her fair share of 29,333 and 70 cents. And this guy might have to get around again. Um, and so she, he's going to get money back. And so she, Sally gets 145,666 and 70 cents. And she owns the trophy collection. All right, we got time for one more just to finish this one. Wow, this time. Nah. Now, this is one call. We're out here at 11 20, right? Yep. Wow. I'm going to just write this last conclusion. Mater, or he paid in 130000 55000 for a total of 185 <laughs> Payment. Uh, his fair share. Right. Can I finish this? So one hundred eighty-five thousand. We can add two hundred twenty-nine thousand. Plus twenty nine thousand.